I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll understand the link between linear approximation and the differential. The question is the radius of a sphere was measured and found to be 16 centimeter with a possible error of at most 0.05 centimeter. Find the maximum error and relative error in using value of radius. Right? So, so what we are saying here is that in the measurement of the radius, we have an error of 0.05. That's the maximum error. So the value could be 16.05. The maximum value could be 16.05 when you measure this as 16 centimeters. Right? Now the question is, find the maximum error and relative error in using value of radius. So we have to find two things here. So one is maximum errors. We'll say this is part A and the other one is relative error, right? So this is part B. So there are two parts to this question. Let me also uh, make you understand the very basic concept of these differentials, right? So when we write, uh, uh, we write d dx or dy dx uh, of any function, uh, let us say this is this is kind of the derivative, right? This is the derivative. Now, from here, you can say dy is equals to uh, the slope or the derivative times dx, right? So, what we're trying to say here is, in a way, change in y, this is actually the change in y, this change in y is linearly related with change in x and the constant of proportionality is the derivative right so so here we have a linear relation do you see this is a linear relation where f dash x f dash x is is the constant of proportionality and we say what we are saying here is that dy is proportional to dx right so this constant of proportionality is your uh, derivative at this at a point given to you right so th that is how you can relate to the exercise which we are going to work with so that's kind of a background on the concept right now we are given a sphere with radius r and we have measured that its radius is 16 centimeters with an error of 0 0.05 that's the maximum find the maximum error and relative error in using the value of radius uh, for measurement of what let us say for measurement of volume right let us say uh, for measurement of volume right so that could be there's incomplete question so we'll like okay. find the maximum error and relative error in using this value of r uh, for calculation of calculation of volume right so let's so there is a typing error I think okay so in the calculation of volume what is going to be the maximum error for radius we know the maximum error is 0 0.05 okay I hope it makes sense now okay now for a sphere what is the formula for volume volume is equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube right that is the volume. So if you take a derivative with respect to r, we get dv dr, right? We get dv dr, which is 4 by 3 pi, and r cube gives you 3 r square. So you can write from here, we'll just rearrange, take dr on the other side, and simplify this. So, so we'll cancel these threes, right? So we, what we get is the surface area, right? 4 pi r square. The surface area of a sphere times dr right so this is what we get so i hope you get it now so change in volume is actually directly proportional to change in radius and that is a constant for a given radius right so for a given radius this is the constant so that is what we are trying to say now the question here is that we are given the radius of 16 so what we are given here is r equals to 16 centimeter 
and possible error of 0 0.05 that is delta r is plus we will take this plus 0 0.05 centimeters right so delta r is given to us r is given to us so we can find change in volume you get the idea right so so dv uh, for r equals to 16 and uh, error let's say epsilon or e epsilon let me write as 0 0.05 will be equals to 4 pi r is 16 let me square this up and dr is 0 0.05 right so that is the value we get so we can actually use the calculator to calculate this value okay so that gives you 4 times let's say 3.14 times 16 square times 0 0.05 equals to so it's a big number it says 160.77 let us say right so this value is equal to 160.77 right centimeter cube of course so that is the error in the volume which you are going to get if the error in calculation of radius is 0 0.05 right you, you get the idea right so that is the maximum error so let me write down here our answer is maximum error equals to 161 centimeter cube if you want to round this up right so that becomes your maximum error now it seems to be huge error right so 161 centimeter cube but normally when we are working on uh, at this scale we are more interested in terms like relative error right that is why the other part is there and now we'll understand what is relative error relative error is relative to the volume correct so it is defined as change in volume over initial volume right so that is like relative error we could have also talked about percent error so in that case let me write down here percent error i will not calculate that but these are different terms which you may get across so delta v over v times 100 right so that becomes the percent error okay so let's do part b now which is calculating relative error we know change in volume which is uh, equals to 160 point let's say 77 divided by the initial volume so okay so we have to calculate initial volume so okay let's calculate this using r as 16 so let's say we have 4 over 3 pi 16 cube is equals to how much so let's use the calculator once again so we have 4 times 3.14 times 16 cube equals to and we'll divide this by 3 okay so we get a big number which is 17148.58 okay so we'll write this number as 17148 let us say right so that becomes the total volume so that's v now if you find this ratio you get relative error so let's calculate this error now it is 160.77 divided by 17148 okay and that gives you 9.37 into 10 to the power of minus 3 that means point zero zero nine right so that is that is a kind of error so what we get here is nine point three <coughs> seven five times ten to the power of minus three right ten to the power of minus three so minus three really means the decimal moves if i put zeros here two positions right so which is equals to zero point zero zero nine let's say three okay uh, so that becomes the error for us which is which is reasonably small do you see that so so the approximation is not as bad as we were looking at right so so the approximation is not all that bad so let me just think about it so it's one two and three right so it's very very small <coughs> and if you want to say write this as a percent error right so the same thing will be 0 0.0093 times 100, correct? Which is 0.93%, right? So it is less than 1%. So 
So it is not that bad. This number may look huge, but actually speaking, uh, it is okay. So, so that's how uh, we work with this. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope in this video you understand the concept of approximation. Sometimes we also say upper bound, that is the upper bound for the volume, right? So you're taking into the maximum. So let me use that word also. These are terms which you will uh, come across, right? So upper bound. So upper bound is this value, the maximum, right? I mean, sorry, 160, yeah. Uh, right, so, so the upper bound. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, upper bound will be, you have to add the values, volume plus this much. So upper bound in this case, let me calculate that, will be, uh, for the volume, will be 17148 plus, let me add this, 161, okay? So that is the upper bound for the volume, upper bound for volume, right? So we have add the volume plus change in volume, is that okay? So add these two to get upper bounds. So 17148 plus 16, I'm sorry. Okay, 17148 plus 161 equals to 17309. So it'd be 17309 uh, centimeter cube, okay. So that becomes the upper bound, anyway. So that is how we can actually find some other terms. Um, which is so we learned in this video how to find maximum error relative error percent error and the upper bound for volume so calculate the volume and add the error so that is how you can get upper lower bound subtract the error correct so that's how you do it you can also share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best